Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast. Minecraft Feed the Beast with Zach Munster. I am here. I have been doing a lot of mining. And uh, this chest is getting a little full. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to split up all of these gems and then all of these ingots and bars and stuff into two much bigger chests in the same space. Now this is going to blow the minds of any of you who have not played modded Minecraft before, but what we're going to do is we're going to take two of those, two planks, come over here and get a nice chest shape with iron. Bam, we got upgrades. Ready? Is your body ready for this? I'll give you a moment to get your body ready while I check something. Okay. Bam! <gasps> Bam! <gasps> Same space. Twice as much room. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm not going to stop there. You guys might be thinking, But that monster! Why? Why would you do this? Well, you see... Because I'm going to be getting a lot of ores with my mining tactics. And I'm going to need the room. Upgrades again. Bam. <gasps> Bam. <gasps> Look at the space. That's kind of strange. I might have to figure out a way to record differently. That's messed up, yo. But we're not done yet. You guys might be thinking, now what on earth? How are we not done yet? Well, you see. There is... One more step we must take. And this step is the most crucial step. Where the hell is my glass? <sighs> I'll be right big. All right, we're back. And uh, I have changed my, my system setups a little bit. So if the graphics just suddenly changed between that scene and this one, you're welcome. We got some glass. I don't know if your bodies are completely ready for this. My mind is currently telling me no. But my body... My body is telling me yes. So let's do this. Diamonds on either side. And gold in the middle. <gasps> Can it be? Can it be? Oh. Ah. Look at it. So beautiful. Alright, well... Those are my two main chests, so I will clean those up in a bit. But what I want to do for this episode is I want to go exploring, get some biomes of plenty in here. Right now we are in a strange biome called the Seasonal Spruce Forest, even though I haven't cut down a single spruce yet. Whatever. And with the Biomes of Plenty mod, there's a couple cool things. One of the first things is the Promised Land. And what that is is it's like the Aether mod, if you guys know what that is. It's like heaven. The opposite of the nether. And how you get there is you craft an ancient staff. And basically, there's gems in very specific biomes. And you need one of each of the six gems to make the staff. And then you have to top it with a nether star. Meaning you have to kill the wither boss to get it. It's crazy. But the Aether is a pretty awesome place, so it's worth it. But um, what I'd like to do is make a new sword and go exploring really quickly. And of course, I'm going to stick with a broadsword. And I'm almost tempted to make myself a mattock. What that is is an axe, a shovel, and a hoe all in one. Just so I, can, so I don't have to carry around my excavator. Because I'm not going to bring these along with me. I'm not. Uh, you guys go to the tool chest. There we go. I don't want to bring this either, but I might have to. Oh well. And we need a good sword. We need a better sword than this. So, uh, where's my aluminum? Is it in the other chest? Hello. Let's go ahead and take six of this. Uh, what is it? Maybe like two obsidian and four iron. Just because the obsidian is going to double here. And we'll see what kind of alumite we get from that. All right, that's turned off. Cool. And uh, maybe with the mattock, because it's just uh, an axe head, a shovel head, and a handle. 
Maybe what we'll do is we'll make that out of alumite because that's only one, two and a half ingots. And then the sword is only a half, one, two ingots. So four and a half ingots. That's all I need. That's going to bug me having a half ingot, so I might just make a random handle or something. And a random tool rod. All right, so we've got... S oh, that's alum. Aluminum. Minum. All righty. Oh, and also, I've been collecting some of my cotton. I just broke it down into wool. Basically, you need nine cotton to make a wool block. It's just kind of an additional way to not have to worry about getting cheap. I like it. I don't mind it. You cook really slowly, guy. Really, really slowly. I feel like I have not enough aluminum, potentially. We'll see in two seconds. Come on. Obsidian 2-2. Two, two. What do we have for alamite? Four. God damn it, Bobby. All right, well, thank God aluminum cooks quickly. So we'll just put another four in there. Why not? While we're doing that, alumite is on the bottom. Okay. We're going to need, what, two tool rods, um, a shovel. Let's get this out of here. A blade, a wide guard, and a... An accent. There we go. Okay. Do that. Get all the one ones out of the way. First. Next we have the shovel head, the blade, and the axe. Alright. We should have enough alumite now. Yep. Perfect. Oops, don't do that. <laughs> All right. Now we have very pretty tools. They're very, very pretty. And oh my goodness, you just don't even know. Hey, look at that. Somehow I managed to cut that down without making extras. Nice. Oh, wait, that's because I need it. Damn it. I didn't want to mess this up. All right. Two even numbers. There we go. Now for the Matic, I really like just having one of these around. Purely because it's a multi-tool, so it saves inventory space. I mean, I'm never going to use between a hatchet, a regular shovel, and a hoe. A thousand durability is probably pretty good. If I got some moss on that, it would probably regenerate more while I'm not using it, then I could, well, just regenerate more than I could ever use, so, yeah. Now, one thing is, um, in order to make a really good sword, like you can see, there's really not much difference between these two aside from the reinforced. To, the key to making a good sword in this mod is to use quartz. Quartz adds, like, a sharpness effect. So what I think we're gonna do, and I don't, I'm not really too fond of this idea, so why don't I, excuse me, set up to go to the nether really quickly. We will grab some quartz and come back. Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, break. All right, so I got the portal set up just right over there, hopefully far enough away from the house where I don't have to hear it. I think I have just enough. Um, I don't, I don't know. Let's just go and stop building blocks. And hope. hope and pray nothing bad happens because this is my good pick. And I kind of need this pick to, you know, survive in the nether and stuff. That frame rate, though. Whoa. Come on, dude. Download that terrain quicker. I believe in you. Come on, man. Come on, dude. All right, this is taking forever. Give me, give me one second. All right, it has been generated. And we are on a nice little platform of flesh, which is gross. Oh god, what the fuck is that noise? Oh god. This is no bueno. This is no bueno! I can't run! 
I don't like this. I don't like this in the slightest. Get out of here. It's gross. I just want to get quartz and gold. Oh my god, hi. High intense mining speed, 9001. Oh, what is... Okay, that was strange. We got some quartz here. Now, I wish I had at least a small amount of looting. I don't even think right now with my three-some stacks of... Uh, oh, what do you call it? Lapis? I don't even think I can get uh, Fortune 2 yet. I wish I could, but I don't think I can, so... I'm not gonna bother with it right now. What is that? Huh. Looks like some kind of nether creeper. Oh, hey, I missed this. But uh, I'll tell you guys what. I'm sure watching me run around in the nether would be very entertaining. I'll uh, I'll just try to come back at you if anything mildly interesting happens, all right? Sound like a plan? Everybody loves jump cuts, right? Right? Right, guys? Alright, so this is kind of cool. I found some tainted soil. I think that's used for, um... There's some kind of thing you can use it for in, um... Tinker's Construct. I think it adds, like, smite. Well, you need consecrated soil, but I think you use tainted soil to get consecrated soil. And also, one thing I found that was interesting is, uh, there's that... Right, right at the end of that last clip, there's a little blue tree in front of me. Cut that down, and I got some saplings in this potash, potash apple. Looks kind of interesting. I might have to farm those here one day. They look mildly cool. But yeah, I just thought this was kind of interesting, because I'm pretty sure you use this to make consecrated... Let's check that, just for, just for shits and giggles, huh? I think I can actually just right-click that, but... Uh, oh, we might need the Thomcraft soil. You make soul sand with heat sand. Um, hold on, let's look at this consecrated soil. So you get graveyard soil. Harmful to the undead. Okay, never mind, I am completely wrong. You get the hell out of here then. Meow. Nice. Death spike. So this is a thing. Hi. How's it going, buddy? That's a nice hat you have there. <laughs> oh god, hi. Um Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh god, why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? No! No, this is not okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. Ah, I'm going into a hole. Okay. Yeah, okay, thanks. And we are back. I got killed by a fire bat while I was paused trying to look up an item. And uh, just went and got my stuff. I have enough quartz to uh, to do one one uh, thingy. What do you call that? One upgrade, I guess. But uh, to make it quicker, you can actually use quartz blocks as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, handy dandy sword here. Put the quartz there. And as you can see, it went from, uh, what was that? Four hearts to four and a half hearts. And you can add 72 at a time, so... Actually, I think it's just faster to, uh... Let's do two more. I think it's just faster to use blocks in general. So that's eight instead of five, so... Alright, we are up to five and a half hearts. Uh, one more. I do believe we just need one more block, and we are golden, pony boy. Yes, we are. And it still has two modifiers, but it is completely done. And what that is, is that's uh, that's 11 attack damage. It should be 12, but whatever. Um, Yeah, so why don't I continue getting ready to head out? Yeah, and this is the item I was looking at here, these wrath shards. 
I'm not sure what those do. Let's see. So we've got the uh, the wrath cage. The oh, I bet those are those uh, those lighting things, huh? No, you don't even. What? Okay, I don't know. All right, well, I'll be back in just one moment. Okay, bye. All right, so I think it's about time I made myself some armor. Why don't we go ahead and get a whole stack of bronze? Because, you know, shiggles. And uh, go ahead and make ourselves some armor. This is as good as iron, if I remember correctly. And a lot more obtainable by by any standard. And I also want, before we leave, to enchant said armor. You can't enchant Tinker Tools, which is kind of a bummer, but I don't really mind. It makes sense. It's balanced. But what we can do is we can put some levels here. Actually, why don't I put, like, five levels on? That'll work. Um, let's get another. Oh, we got a seven here. That one's kind of crappy. Uh... Projectile protection on breaking. I can take that. Now we got a bunch of armor, some good, uh, some good stats. I got aqua affinity. That'll be nice. I mean, affinity, English motherfucker. Do you speak it? And uh, I still have to uh, organize all of that shiznit. Also, I think I have a lot more ingots up here because I've just been uh, mining and dropping them off in this hopper, and they just kind of end up here. Yeah. Is anything clogged? No. No. Alright. And that is slowly wasting power. I should probably, you know, unplug it while I'm gone, but whatever. Not too terribly worried about it. Anyway. I think it is about time we head out. I don't know that I need anything else. One thing I might do is, um... Hold on. You'll see where I'm going with this in just two seconds. I also probably need that bucket. I just realized. Buckets are cool. Let's do that. Let's uh, put you there, you there, you there, you there. We'll split you all up. Just to save some time. And I think I'm going to add efficiency to the, the Matic. A bunch of efficiency, if at all possible. Um, because if we're going to be digging dirt and cutting trees and all kinds of crap, we want it to be as fast as possible, right? That's what I'm thinking anyway. Look at that speed, goddamn. <laughs> this thing has a mining speed of 26. Goddamn. <laughs> that is insane in the membrane, all right? But anyway, we're going to go explore, and um, I'm going to try and get some kills along the way. Survive the night, of course, because, you know, digging a hole and waiting is kind of boring sometimes. It has to be done occasionally if you're really far out, but I don't think it should be too much of a problem. Because it'll give me, like, a little beacon of where I died, if I do die. But um, I have explored over here. This is a uh, jade cliffs, I believe, just over there. And there should be a lavender field straight across the water. Oh, that could have been bad. Yeah. Let's see what this. Let's see what this does. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna love this thing to death. To death. All right, but uh. I'll tell you what, this is going to be kind of lame. I'm going to try and grab as much of everything as I can while I'm out. And what in the hell? Is that tree growing on a leaf? No, it's just not growing. Ha! I'm Paul! Is that pine? And spruce? I would kind of like a spruce. Whoa, my God, that is so quick. You guys seeing this right now? ho, <laughs> ho. Yes, please. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to collect some stuff, and uh, I will show you my haul and give you guys updates and 
progress as I go along because walking is boring. So I'll be back when something cool happens, which might be a long time. Well, would you look at this? I found the entrance to the uh, the dungeon over by my house. And there's a lot of exposed ores over here. Holy crap. Is there anything I actually want over here? Probably these entropy infused, but that's about it. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what the entrances generally look like. I think that's actually 100% what they look like. I was thinking there might be slight differences. There might be other ones besides castles, but... I am probably just plain wrong. But uh, there's always some good stuff up here, namely a... Uh, why do you not break... S weird. You get some good um, random stuff. You get some torches for free, food, which is good because I'm going to need some food. Um, and then, of course, you get the journal, which tells you all about the, uh, the stuff... And, of course, you got, you know, random blocks and wood and starter stuff. But what I want is this. Now, I can break this, but it's not going to give me the chest, sadly. But I can get some free obsidian out of it. And a bed. And some coal. Because why not? But, yeah. So, that's there. And, like, like I said, it just goes down and down and down. and gets more and more difficult as you do it. And now that I know where this is, actually, I can mark it. And we can actually go through this one day when I'm better geared. So, uh, dungeon start. Right there. Cool. All right. Well, that was cool. That was pretty much right around the corner from where I cut that pine tree. But uh, I feel like we might not be getting so lucky in the furtherness. What? <laughs> Do you see this? Oh my goodness, hold on. Iron, I need this. I'm desperately low on iron right now. Ah! Get out quick. Get out while you still can. Get out quickly. I don't... I need iron though. I'm desperately low. Alright. Eh. Quickly. There are monsters. Okay. That iron was a trap. We have another one though. What is this? What are you? I don't even. I'm like a prime number right now. I literally can't even. Alright. Anyway, that joke was hilarious when I first heard it. S do that little number. Um, I don't think I need any of that stuff for my exploits. I will take those even though they don't stack. Ermagerd gold shovel. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna take the free obsidian. That's way easier to mine than eight obsidian, and the coal. And uh, you know what? Just because we're not that far away, why does this not break gravel? That's so random. Let's just go ahead and sleep here. Why not? Anyway, back in a few. Listen, Mister Orkers. The only reason I'm out here is because I'm low on food. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> These things kind of sketch me out, but... Okay. So this is actually quite interesting. I don't know if you can see it, but I barely missed it. Is uh, There's an aura node right here for Thomcraft, and this is actually quite good, so I'm going to mark this. I, don't, I can't tell what type it is, but uh, once I do, I can come back and change my uh, thingy. But I was just over here in the desert, and uh, I saw some really good stuff like this, for instance. Cinder pearl. You can get some blaze powder from it, which is awesome. Free peaceful mode blaze powder. Not that I'm in it. Watch out for this, Joey, Steven, G. We're going to have this mod. Watch out. All right. I don't know if I have a good way out. Hold on. Why can I not dig with this all of a sudden? Is there, like, different modes to it? Weird, but yeah, check this out. Ah, ah, eh, ah, 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 get out, get out! I'm gonna die! Ah, ah. All right, ah, watch out for these two. They actually kind of hurt. 
And you can't really get anything from them. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. Obsidian Totem. This is just kind of like... It. Oh, there's another one right over there. This is kind of like those um, uh, Aura Nodes. Only they have like random non-primal auras to them. Or primal aspects to them. Which is great. And we're going to need those later for uh, Thomcraft whenever we get around to that. So I'm going to mark the hell out of both of these. And that's not to say they don't have primal aspects like air, earth, fire, water, you know, the basics. They do sometimes, but more often than not, they'll have, like, good stuff. Namely, stuff you need, like uh, Percantio and stuff like that. Ooh, what do we have here? Different type of cactus, huh? Oh, this is a Cigaro cactus. Which, yes, it does still hurt. Does it make a... No, it doesn't, so I don't want it. Ooh, hello. We need this for Ars Magica. And uh, deserts is are a really good place to find those. So uh, I'm going to be exploring around here for a while, getting some stuff I need from the desert, and I will come back at you with a new biome. Well, looks like... Curiosity killed the Lenny. <laughs> well, now this is a hell of a biome combination, right? This is the polar biome. Ice. Ice everywhere. Literally just in the ocean. There's no landmass. This is some kind of like ice caps thing. I, I don't know. But I think over here we've got some grasslands, which is what I want to explore. Actually, this looks like an island in an ocean. It's actually a plane bomb, but figure it. The man of all men. That has to be one hell of a story, considering there's no possible way he could have fell and had a zombie pigment around, but props to you, my good man. Props to you. You don't get a memorial, though. Fuck you. All right, ladies, come on. Aqua Pilates is still going on for another half an hour. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Get it, girl. Oh, you get it. Meanwhile, while the chicken Pilates group goes on, I found something that caught my attention. A slime island. Now, what do we need to get to said slime island? Well, we need building blocks. Lots of them. And that should not take long at all with this ridiculous matic of mine. And what's up at the top, you might ask? Well, a slime, most likely. Probably a tree for which I can grow slime on my own time whenever I want. Where's this fucking skeleton at? Huh? Trying to sneak up on me, bitch boy? Trying to sneak up on me, bitch boy? That's what I thought. Ooh. Girl, you are getting it. Mm. Mm mm mm. You are getting it just like Sean Treese out there in her swimming Pilates. Mm, girl. Get it. I'll meet you guys up at the top. <laughs> I'm being ridiculous. Like a sir, creeper. Like a sir. Yeah, um that that's actually a pretty low island. Most of them can reach pretty freaking high up into the air. I've I've had one at uh almost build limit, if not higher. Oh shit, that guy's going for it. You wanna fucking fight, slime? You want to fucking fight? I will kill you. And die trying, goddammit. Alright, I got the slime. Go! Go! Go, monster, go! Yeah, um, there's actually a spawner of sorts up at the top. Uh, this, it might be smarter to go from here. But, um, basically what it is, is they spawn in the water that's up there. I'd like to keep this too wide if at all possible. Nah, you know what? Let's just go one wide. We'll be ballsy. There's ocean. We got the ocean to save our lives and whatnot. Yeah, this is not high at all. This is probably just barely over 100 if I had to guess, like 120. Oh, we got a slimer up here too in the lake. We should come right up against it. Yep. 
Now, I don't know for sure, but I don't think hostile mobs spawn up here. Oh, God, he's coming after us. Just give him a second. Go ahead, buddy. Suicide. You got this. You got this, buddy. All right, good job. Hey, we got a couple of a couple trees. Awesome. Now the best part about this is you can turn these uh, these little wooden things into slime. You can change these into better slime crystals. And actually, I want to get as many of these as I can. Does this water cause haste? I just thought I saw haste for a second. Weird. I'd like to get at least a couple saplings before we go down, though. Just so I have some to grow at my leisure. At my leisure. But yeah, so now that we've got the uh, gelat on us slime and the regular slime, I can I can eventually show you all what it does, what it do. If she got that booty, she do. Basically, it's a Tinker's Construct thing, and it is a very nice one for early game. Like, if you find one of these before you get a smeltery going, you better be pillaring up to the top and getting this gelatinous slime, because, uh... I'll tell you right now, it's all about durability. It's really good for hand handles, um, for making bindings, because what it does is it has like a two times multiplier for durability, and it also has a base durability of 2400. That's double freaking diamond on this. It's like one and a half diamonds. It's ridiculous. Oh god, that's, that's where I'm getting the jump boost. Weird. Alright, I can dig it, I suppose. Anyway, I'll see you guys down in the next area. Alright, so I'm back, and I just found a great wood tree. I was kind of hoping to find a silver wood around here. This is a uh, Thomcraft build, but this does mean that it will have a good source of great wood when the time comes to start doing Thomcraft, which is like a magical crafting mod, I suppose. The good thing about great woods is uh, they can kind of grow anywhere. The bad thing is they get my hopes up for silver woods, which is uh, something I really want. It basically changes the entire biome you're in into a magical forest biome, which would make it really nice to, you know, live in and not have to explore miles and miles and miles to, you know, find one. But let's hope we can get some great wood saplings going on here because... Uh, I could really use some farmable great wood back at my place. But anyway, just a quick update. We are uh, getting low on inventory, so I might have to call it, and we might have to head back to the base and uh, build some stuff that will help us explore for the next episode. So uh, I'll see you guys probably back at the home base unless I find something cool. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. A puppy died here. He was killed by magic. I'll find the mage, Sparky. Watch out for these. They look pretty. What? I thought these were poisonous. I just got poisoned by one. Hold on. Which one was the one that poisoned me? This little fucker right here. Weird, I just... Oh, Poison Ivy. Hey, that's what did it. Watch out for this shit. It's awful. Oh, home sweet home. I think we need to get some stuff made, though. All right, that's, uh, that's all mod stuff, so why don't we just throw all of our foresty stuff in here for now. I have a spot for that already. Um, I think, yeah, that's all new wood. Also, I have a pocket crafter, which is kind of nice. I'm going to keep that. Keep that as well. And put you away. Sort you in there. Put you in there. And you in there. Might as well have a bed on me. That's a nice little thing. And we'll put this right up in here where it belongs. How are you doing on coal? Because I know you're probably wasting it. Oh, four left. That's full battery, so we should be alright. But, there's a couple things we need to be making. 
Now, do we have ender chests in this mod? I wonder. Yes, we do. One of the most useful things you can ever make in this game. Where is it? I can't find it. I can't see it. I'm blind. Right here, the ender pouch. It's just an ender pearl, some blaze powder, some leather, and that. And what it is, is an ender pouch that, you know, is linked to an ender chest. Meaning you can't lose the damn thing. You don't lose what's ever inside of it. Now, we can't make that for now, but what I can make is a knapsack. That's the goal, though, is to get some ender pouches going. But for now, we can make a Tinker's Construct knapsack, which is two iron tough rods and gold. That's not too bad. Um, Let's take six iron here. Why not? I've used this one. God damn it, Bernice. All right, let's just take three iron ores if they aren't cooked yet. Okay. Okay. And I think the um, pulverized iron ore actually cooks faster in the Tinker's thing, which is nice. Makes it a little bit easier. And then we need, uh, what is it, six leather? I don't think we have all that much leather. That's good, though. And one gold. I still have to s clean this all out. But that'll be fine. Why don't you cook for me? Um, Get that tough rod cast going on here. I think I already had some iron in here, maybe? No. It looks like it's cooking the same seed. Anyway, I'll get back at you when I make the knapsack. Alright, now I'm actually going to make two things with this. Hold on. We've got that. Two iron tough rods. And that makes a, makes a knapsack. And we can actually just equip that into our Tinker's equipment here. Now, a lot of this you can't use. This isn't made yet. This you can. This you can. They're still working on this. You can have up to 10 red heart containers, 10 green. And I think they're working on blue right now. But what that does is that increases your hearts by 10 each. So, you know, 30 total if you have all of these. And the knapsack is literally just this. Another inventory. Kind of cool, but I want to top it off with something else here. So what I have here is a little bit of wool. A chest and a block of gold. A bag of holding. Holding. What that does is that is an iron chest in your inventory. Now, if I do recall, you keep everything in your knapsack when you die. Kind of nice. It doesn't really matter. I'm not too worried about losing stuff because I have gravestones. It's just, you know, getting back. I don't want to lose some stuff. So, yeah. Last thing I wanted to do, just really quickly here. Do we have any alumite at all? Two ingots. So what I'm going to do is take an ingot cast. And I'm going to show you guys how to repair expensive stuff like this matic. Be right back. So it's just as simple as this. Take the matic. You take the ingots. And it should only take one to do about half, I believe. It's based on the amount of ingots total to make it, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, that should do it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. In the next one, we will have much more carrying capacity. So we'll be able to go further, harder, better, faster, stronger, monster. But until then, I've been your host, Zach Monster. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!